Okay, so in this video, I want to discuss why I think Nikon is the best camera you can use for weddings. Now, I know I'm going to hear from a lot of you, especially because it's not like I have that much experience with other cameras. But hear me out, okay? I do have some experience with Canon and Fuji and Sony. Uh, I'm going to talk about all those things throughout the course of this video, which is an entire wedding from start to almost finish. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you subscribe. Looking Thanks. good. Demesio. You, you know me. <laughs> That's Miguel. How's it going? How's it? Sorry. Mm -hmm. We're just going to get everybody to come this way though, because I'm going to shoot that way. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell them. She's coming to the parking lot though, so... Uh... It's fine. I I'm going to position her okay. once she gets here. So these videos aren't structured the way a tutorial video would be. This is just me shooting a wedding. You and I are having a cup of coffee and talking about it, but you're not talking. Just me. I love Nikon colors, man. I love them way more than I do Sony. Canon colors are nice, but Sony colors to me suck. And I really don't like Fuji either. I don't like that kind of aesthetic. I feel like if a bride takes the time to choose the colors of her flowers, her whole color scheme, that maybe those colors should be represented in their photos, which are gonna be timeless because those are the colors they chose as opposed to having it the camera change it or something and wash it out i know fuji does that people love the color science for fuji i i don't like it and i don't like sony's either and then i'll be able to get you both okay so for now stay facing this way okay since she's coming over there and i'll call her and tell her he's facing that way okay he should be those were his instructions <laughs> behind that tree he's over there he's here don't worry <laughs> he wouldn't miss this no i know he, okay I see that. I know where he was at. <laughs> so i'll give you some hi demesio <laughs> by the way <laughs> hi everybody i know hi you it's look been a long time you today. look great yeah, thank you you all look great thank you okay so this is what's gonna happen right you're gonna walk down okay uh you see miguel over there yes you're gonna yeah. walk down that way so around this side of the yeah. tree. Yeah. Okay. And when you get to the point, I'll stop you. When, okay. Once you're there and Gavin's right there, okay. you're going to go up to him, tap him on his left okay. shoulder. He's supposed to do a 180 towards you. Okay. And I'll be able to get his reaction. Okay. And then she's going to follow me so she can put my dress down. Out. You don't want it to, you don't want it to drag, right? Is that it? Exactly. I know one of the things that you Sony users and Canon users rag on Nikon about is the autofocus. But honestly, I use autofocus in single point mode like 90 percent of the time right here the subject is walking towards me so i do have it on eye autofocus and it does perfectly fine like perfectly fine right now she's going to be on the same plane as him so i'll step back and i'll put it on single point focus and i'll get it i'll get every single one of the shots this is how i do my first looks by the way so he turned a little bit further than I wanted. Uh, normally I would want a profile shot, but there's still plenty of times to get his reactions. And that's what I got as a solo shooter. This is, I found the best way to get this. If you had a second shooter, you would position them to the right in this case. As he turned, he or the she, the second shooter would get that. But look, man, single point out of focus. The colors are as they should be, but maybe enhanced, you can say. They're not, uh, they're not washed out. They're not a different green, although sometimes I do tone the greens down because the sunlight makes them look like neon green, but they're natural, you know? And I like that about Nikon. And it's effortless to, to make this look nice in Capture One. I, I don't like Lightroom. I know uh, Lightroom is like what? Uh, the thing that everybody uses and I started using it. But I just find that that Capture One is so much better. Like I like it. Even though Lightroom has other things that are just make it so easy. I, I totally get that. Capture One is not easy in that sense. 
but it's easy in the sense that it gets me to get the photo to look the way I want it to look right away. I don't have to do much effort because I do take pride in the fact that I feel like I get the shot correct in camera a big, big portion of the time, like large portion of the time. So editing is editing. It's not right, fixing. How go. many times have you seen a photographer post, oh, when people want all the raw photos and then they show this really crappy photo, but then they show the one they edited and it looks nice. We well, I would never do that because I don't take crappy photos. <laughs> and... All right, let me see. I think I need to move you again. Let me see, look at me real quick. Okay. Let me see. Let's move right here. Moving back a little bit, I think. Just right here. Let me see your face right there. I think you're good right there, actually. Am I good? <laughs> Alright, look over here. What's your password? Uh, 9303. Alright, turn your bodies towards me, like a little bit. Just this way. Like, right here. Yeah, right there. And look at me. That didn't work out. Hold on. Give each other a big hug. Perfect. Alright, let's go with another bridesmaid. Can we do them together? Yeah, sure. We can do that. Turn your bodies towards me a little bit more. Right there. Perfect. The beginning part of this wedding here is basically the first look and group portraits followed by couples portraits. Now, if you were just to do like cut it by phases, this is phase one, right? Do you really need the best and most sophisticated Sony eye out of focus, Canon eye out of focus? Is it worth the four? five thousand dollars those cameras are costing even for nikon do you really need the nikon z9 or the z8 for this part of the day the files you get from the nikon z1 or even from before the mirrorless cameras are like phenomenal they're really nice the colors the dynamic range do you need a camera that costs you a lot of money? I think if I owned that camera, I wouldn't use it for this part, you know, to to lengthen the, the life of it because you don't need it. In fact, I don't think you need it for any part of the day because I do just fine with my Nikon Z6-2s. Why did I get the Z6-2s over the z61 well that's pretty obvious it has dual card slots but why do i like nikon more than canon well stay tuned yeah this works Beautiful. all right good look at me nothing in your pockets good all right stay like that all right you're gonna put your hand in your pocket i'm what you call a hybrid photographer slash video and i can do photo and video virtually at the same time and nikon just makes it so easy for that let's do an individual with each of you guys starting with your best man right there good give each other a big hug perfect all right next So you really can't see my LCD screen because of the sun and the glare, but I do have it on continuous focus now, on eye autofocus. I have it so that it's on her eyes basically and taking the photos as she's leading him across. I think these look really nice and you can get such nice photos. These are ones that I took before. I had no GoPro footage of this stuff, but look how nice all these look. These are all single point, but when they walk, I do the continuous uh, focusing. <coughs> right here, I'm debating what to do. You don't want to take pictures without the chairs, but I feel like later on, I'm not gonna get a chance to do this. And this is the only table in the shade. So maybe I'll just get some of the, the decorations on top. And then. So I got to the venue 
not early, but I got there when I was supposed to get there, but they hadn't done all the setup yet. The, the tops have some decorations, but really nothing is set up. The, the silverware, the plates, the chairs, but I am going to be busy later and I'm a solo shooter. I'm a solo shooter 95% of the time. So what should I do? Should I get this or should I not? Well, obviously, I think the answer will be get whatever you can whenever you can. If I don't get this right here right now, I'm basically just going to be standing waiting. So I'm going to get it, you know, and I even though it's in the sun, it, it looks fine. So the ceremony here, you see how they're in the sun. Well, I wait for them to get into that little shaded part to take my photos. I am using continuous focus here. So people that rag on uh, Nikon for the uh, the focusing, look, man, it does just fine. I really want to hear from you Nikon shooters out there. I'm sure Canon and Sony and Fuji will do just fine with continuous focusing too. I have no, no, nothing against them. Except for maybe uh, the ergonomics and the, the colors. I just don't like them. I like Nikon and I love the ergonomics. You know, I got some pretty big hands and it just fits my hand like a glove. I love it. It doesn't even have the battery grip and I love it. So here, look, I'm using continuous because I didn't have time to switch from single to, con to from continuous to single the way I would. I only use continuous when the subject is moving towards me or at night when they're just moving around so fast and I just, you know, I cannot focus with single point. Here, I switched it to continuous, I'm sorry, to single point because I don't want the camera focusing on somebody's eye or this or his shoulder. I make sure to get the eyes in focus for all those things. Now, this is not an easy spot to take photos. It's not super difficult because you see the parents are in the sun and the other parents are in the shade. Luckily for me, the bride and groom are in the shade. But there's no way for me to get across. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's plenty of space for me to get across. So I do that. But I need to get some from this angle of her face and if I were to go step below I would be looking up at her and I don't want that so I move as much as I could inside like that to get that shot now I move around everywhere every spot that I go to I will take photos of everybody whether they're in the sun or in the shade I get them all and then, you know what I get them with single point yet this is yet another scenario why you don't really need a $4,000, $5,000 camera. The Nikon Z6 II is a steal. It's two Gs and you can get it used even cheaper and it does so much for you. This is a business, you know? You can't just, well, you could because I did it too. Use your business as a way to facilitate your your sickness here of getting more and more and more gear i i know what that's like what do they call it gas gear acquisition syndrome and i had that i no longer have that i know that the couples won't know which camera you use whether or not you were able to track their eyes in the most perfect way they just want to make sure you can get the shots and you know what? Most of the cameras are going to get it for you. Now, I did buy this lens. It's the 14 to 24 Sigma. I use it for a grand total of maybe five, six shots for the whole day. But it, it does look nice. Now, I didn't get to use it right here because, man, that ceremony was really short. You saw me put it away in a hurry because the kisses were coming. I did use it uh, other parts of the day, but yeah. This ceremony was extremely short, shorter than I thought. They did that kiss right there. Switched to my 35. I didn't know they were gonna do that kiss. You should totally expect it, right? But man, I that's something that I've since made sure to talk to my brides. Like, are you going to kiss? Because where I was, that was the furthest back that I could go. I could not go further back. 
but if I had known they were gonna do that maybe I would have had my 14 to 24 handy and I would have gotten it with that right but you know lesson learned you all uh, kind of learn as you go I'm sure but yeah every wedding since I tell them hey are you going to kiss sometimes they they remember to do it sometimes they do it in the middle of the aisle and sometimes they do it at the end of the aisle when you virtually have no space I don't know that you could tell how dark it's getting the sun is setting here and I do have my 85 1.4 Sigma art lens on and I love this lens It's actually my favorite lens but look here to the left there you see that light stand yeah that's mine I totally left it there I left that picture there for you to see like you have to work around these things and I made the mistake of leaving it there because uh, I wasn't thinking which angle I was going to use for the for the speeches but so I removed it and made sure that it no longer got in the way but I'm using the 85 Sigma art if I had been using my 70 to 200 here it would have worked I would have been able to zoom in and out and got even more variety there's people out there that'll tell you you don't need the 70 to 200 and for the most part they're probably right but it does give you a lot of variety and it is a costly uh, lens but it is worth it because of the variety you get from it I use it for every ceremony had I kept it on here I would have been able to get every shot without having to be intrusive and get all in everybody's face I would have been able to hang back and gotten everything but it was getting darker the Sun is going down I would have had to raise my ISOs maybe more than I like you know uh, and with the 85 uh, 1.4 it's not really a problem like at all so you move around everywhere to the left to the right behind them and you get all these shots so right here right you see I'm not using eye out of focus the subject is standing still you do not need the most sophisticated eye autofocusing available to man at this point right you don't need it so why should you spend the four thousand dollars on that camera if you're not gonna need it for this part either it just doesn't make sense right so you were shooting for how many years now you were shooting with mirrorless uh, maybe you started with mirrorless maybe you started with DSLRs maybe you started with film cameras and for the film cameras I can tell you that was hard but you know with the uh, DSLRs I was able to get the shots without the most fancy eye autofocus didn't there was no eye autofocus but I was able to get the shots you can get the shots now without that fancy camera man you don't need to spend that money you should reinvest that into uh, some kind of education for photography or into your business somehow not getting the latest cameras whenever they come out because you don't need it so again let me go over everything here because you can see the action as it's happening if you're a wedding photographer you know exactly what I'm doing here single point out of focus moving around getting all these shots the reasons why you want a Nikon over a Sony or a Canon to me are going to be the picture quality the file the raw file is amazing Canon I think is pretty close but I just don't like it maybe it's because I'm not used to it the ergonomics of it the files I just it's not for me uh, Nikon to me feels a little bit more natural in my hand the uh, Fuji's feel completely unnatural Sony's are the worst by far and the file is the most important thing to me not the fact that it can focus on their eyes in complete darkness or whatever I don't need that and you don't need that you need a good file to work off of and the colors on the Nikon are just so vivid and pretty you really don't need to work on them that much unless of course you like the washed out colors that the Fuji gives you that's what you want to do go for it I tell my couples that if you like that then that's not me you should go with me because you like the colors that you chose for your wedding and therefore you want your pictures to show that you don't want to spend five thousand dollar camera because look a single point of recompose capture focus on his face right there bam 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 it works really well you don't need the sophisticated eye out of focus that Sony says they have
I wish that I could show you my raw files, like all of them, so that you can see I'm not lying to you when I say to you that I have very, very little in the way of missed focus shots. Why? Because I am telling the camera where I want it to focus. I, I, I single point focus, recompose the shot, and I get it every time the only time that i miss focus more than others is when it's on continuous focus and that's because either the subject is moving too fast or it's really dark and moving too fast right here lucky for me this is all taking place at sunset which is you know golden hour the nice time of the day where these pictures come out looking magical and this and that so these these photos were really easy for me this gets a little bit more complicated because now we have a ton of people on the dance floor but i use the same principle here single point recompose if they're moving around too much, I'll switch it to continuous uh, focus to capture their eye, but I'll put it so that the little rectangle is somewhere in the middle or to the side. Whatever is in that rectangle will be what the camera looks for as far as eyes go. So I'll do that for the dance floors. But other than that, this camera, the Nikon, it does perfectly well. It's a fraction of the price of some of the newer cameras. And again, this is a business. You want to make money. So you want to get the best equipment you can. But within reason, you don't want to spend $5,000 on a camera or whatever the Nikons cost or new ones or whatever the Canons cost. I have no idea. They're naming their naming of their cameras is so weird to me and so many letters and numbers i don't know but uh i know they cost quite a bit so you do what you want with your money you want a really good camera in my opinion the nikon is such a good camera for weddings it can do hybrid photo video it gives you to, in my opinion the best raw file you can get and you know what at the end of it right the raw file is what's important you want the raw file to look so good so that when you edit it it just looks perfect perfect i didn't really use off camera flash here very much and i always want to show you how i do that uh it was easy for me because i didn't really need it <laughs> and it is harder to use it for sure but I hope you subscribe. I show you a ton of these videos, uh, how I do it, and you know, chat me and let's talk about cameras.